<laughs> That's how we're going to start the episode off. I am Caleb, the stealthy sneak Perez, the host of this, here with co-host Alex, who is either tired or sad or both. Probably a combination. And uh, Colby. Who's fucking and welcome. just eating... Welcome to episode 100 of Totally Oblivious Podcast. Oh shit, I hit the we, mic. We made it. We, we made we it, boys. Far. I we think made that's it. That's either laugh track or cheering. I don't know, but it's <laughs> either <one>. or. It's <laughs> yellow. Yellow's cheer. <laughs> the laugh track. The booing. <laughs> <laughs> Should have ended 50 episodes ago. Jesus. Oh, well. Uh, this was going to be a very happy celebratory episode, but then last night some terrible, awful news happened, so I think we need, should cover that before we get to... R.I.P. Akira Toriyama. Last, yeah. In memory, I gotta, I'm going to put it in my next video too. Uh, I have not recorded that yet. If anything, this will probably come out before that, so... Yes. R.I.P. to the GOAT, man. Like, I don't know what else to say. I was I was bleeding my heart out last night. It was crazy seeing that. Yeah. I I was having a good day. Just got done Ruined. playing Final Fantasy VII. Went up to eat dinner. And then Alex calls me and is like, Kira Toriyama's dead. And I was like, oh, no. No. It's terrible. Yeah, it's sad. It's like. The entire world is sad right now. I, f I felt. I felt the shudder of Mexican depression <laughs> wash over my my homeland. Latin America is not doing good right no, now. No, I think we should give brief tribute. What is your earliest Dragon oh, Ball? Oh, that's good. good idea. That, that was I was a good I was already thinking that too. I think my, we should just make a whole episode dedicated to that. I, I wanted to do that too. We should do that for the next episode. One on one. Next episode. One on one. Okay. Like so. do a little like you know how we did the Nazis thing. We should do like a little, no. I know, really weird comparison of totally oblivious lore. Like, we should do like a little fun little, fact trivia. Little, little thing about Dragon Ball. But I guess, yeah, right now we can do our Dragon Ball memories. Uh, I'll go first. Okay. Very first memory of Dragon Ball was, I'd have to be about seven or eight years old. Comes up on Nicktoons. And I remember being like, I don't know. This Gohan kid keeps crying. <laughs> He just cried well, all the bitch. time. But then I kept watching, and it was so good. I was I was entranced, throwing pillows at Colby like <laughs> it was a destructo disc. Just <laughs> everything was so good. Watched. I was waiting every single Wednesday. That was when they had the next episode on on Nicktoons for the next episode. I think they went. I watched all the way up to like right before the cell games and mm -hmm. then they went on break. So I didn't really get to finish it for a long time, mm -hmm. but man, that was super influential in my childhood. And then when uh, Xenoverse two came out, Colby was working a lot. So I actually really got to play Xenoverse two. Uh -huh. I think that really solidified how much I love Dragon Ball. Just playing through that. I played through that and rewatched the entirety of Dragon Ball Z at the same time. Mm -hmm. It's just so good. I just, I love Dragon Ball so much. So I guess we're just going to go down the line. Yeah. My first memories of it, I was at my grandma's old house and my uncle was just trying to entertain us because we were mm. infatuated with him. When I was younger, and so he pulled out the classic that I do, I now do with my uh, relatives, younger relatives, is I'll just put on some anime. And what he does is, I can't remember, is either it, it was either in the same session or shortly after, but it was either when Vegito first fused. He played the clip of Vegito becoming. Ooh, oh my gosh! Yeah. What a great clip! Yeah. I saw Goku and Vegeta fuse for the first time, fighting. Majin Buu or Buhan. I was like, what the fuck is going on here? Uh and then that that was on that was that was the whole clip. I didn't think I saw them fight. But then either immediately right after or a completely different entertain the children session, um uh, my uncle Leo had shown us uh, burst limit gameplay 
I think it was just Goku. <laughs> yeah. I or, haven't heard that name in a long time. Yeah, and it was it was Goku versus Vegeta fighting, and um, it was I was I was just entranced. My brother did not give a fuck. You could, clearly, you can see how his demeanor is nowadays. But I was like, D- "What Whoa. is this? What the fuck?" But I was never able to watch it because it was it was in this era before Kai mm. showed up on Nicktoons and stuff. So I was in the spot of like. Yo, what the fuck is Dragon Ball Z, bro? What's happening here? So it was it was the era where it was more you watched all the clips on YouTube. Yes, yeah, before I, I actually that, watched it. What, like, I guess this was after that as well. Mm-hmm. But during the time when uh, Kai went on break, mm-hmm. and I like I was like, what happens next? Colby was like, oh, let's just skip to the fun part. So he he showed me the entire fight of super saiyan 2 gohan versus cell damn and then the uh go tanks versus super boo mm-hmm. watch those on youtube and then eventually they started playing the movies just on random channels yeah and i watched Fus- fusion reborn and the broly movie and i was just like oh, good good they only show the good ones so good no bro i remember okay but like i i remember the first day i did watch the, the uh watch kai for the first time dude i was glued to that shit i didn't watch the first episode because i think i missed it on accident but the second episode is basically where it starts and i remember watching rats and goku being like what the fuck is happening he killed him on tv this is crazy <laughs> I, i'm re-watching kai right now uh i'm i'm, I'm watching it while i'm making this diego video i'll probably watch all of all of kai maybe even gt to you know, spoil myself. I'm, I, I'm probably going to have like this giant Dragon, Dragon Ball, Ball kick. watch. I, I, more likely than not, I think this is finally my excuse to maybe do some content on content on it of it on YouTube now. Because mm. it's just like, I got to honor this or something. I know I've been faxed with JoJo's for such a long time, but that's a completely different obsession. But like, this is a childhood one. And it's like, Dragon Ball just fucks. It fucks hardcore. Like, there's no other way to describe it, dog. Like, like, well, I I don't know. I've been watching the first few episodes today, and I just, like, like, I remember back in the day, it was just two manly men fighting, sweaty men fighting, but then, like, as a grown adult, I'm like, damn, this shit's kind of, like, way different. Mm -hmm. Deep. It is. I'm like, what the hell? I'm like, what the hell? I didn't know Dragon Ball was like this. I, I, I got out of the, I got out of the loop. It's weird, man. It's weird getting back into that loop. Now you're the oldest one here. Yeah, Colby was so, around during like the. Bro, how, hi there, Bruce the, Faulkner. How you doing, incep- <laughs> Bruce Faulkner? Mm. The inception of it in U.S. So, the first time I was introduced by it was my cousins had toys of them. Mm. Had no idea who was who. A bunch of goes, <laughs> go <laughs> who, go what go, and then so um, yeah, they had like the Frieza saga characters and stuff. And they're like, oh yeah. And it was funny because some characters are like, we don't even know who this is, but we have them. <laughs> that was, that's the crazy fact. There's a lot of just like, it's like the series is barely playing. Here's all the Boo Saka characters. Oh, so we had like Napian. Yeah. You know, Napian. Yeah. I don't, I don't think that's how his name's pronounced. Yeah. You mean Min- Minosha and Napian or something like that. You mean Tapion? Tapion. There you Whatever go. Whatever his yeah. name is. All the, the having Wrath of the, no, we had, we had no <laughs> idea who Rath they were. Seeing the dragon characters before like <laughs> seeing like fucking Nap was insane. insane. <laughs> I don't know if it go, went that far, but like you get the idea where we didn't know who who it was, but we'd still buy them. We're like, oh, who knows? He could be really strong. Like um, Vegito, we had no idea who Vegito was. We're like, is it like Vegeta's brother or something? <laughs> <laughs> who it's, is this guy? It's wild. It's well, weird. he went wrong. <laughs> he get one. Close, close enough. In 2008. But yeah, since then, like I, I jumped on it, like try to watch it on Toonami. I think it's every Thursday night. And I like watched the first episode. It's already Napa was destroying people. That was where I started at. And um, I think there was one week that they played on Friday, and they just played the rest of the series. So they like you know week after week they play a new episode, and then like Friday for some reason they just played the rest. And I remember Cliff came home. He's like, "They don't play them on Fridays." What do you mean? You're lying. That didn't happen. I was like, "I'm. I don't know. I'm, I'm just right here. You. I'm I, watching. I them. saw <laughs> things happen. I saw the end already." He's like, "What?" And he got upset. Uh, that is my earliest memory playing toys and not knowing who the heck they are, but just 
I think that's what it is. Like the design of them is just so cool. Like you, and you, and you know what's wild? I, I, you probably saw it because I was liking and retweeting so much bullshit. <laughs> but like I, the fact that Akira Toriyama, I finally got my fucking answer to how he he was able to play Dragon Quest for like a week straight and still was able to get chapters out. He just did them last minute. The guy was lazy as fuck. He'd be like. Yeah, so around 6 o'clock, I'd do the storyboards. By midnight, I'd be done with all of them. And then by 6 o'clock in the morning, I'd ha- I'd be mm, done with the manga A man chapter. of my own ideals. <laughs> I want to be like him so bad, bro. Okay, I have a new question. Yeah. Who was your favorite character? Oh, to start out with? Or like currently? Current? Just your favorite character. Uh, Ak- Akira Toriyama character. I've always loved, I think, probably Vegito the most. I don't want to do fusions because I guess if we're not going to do fusions, though, I always like Goten. Okay, Vegeta's I have a question. Vegeta's way up there. I love Vegeta as Why a character. Why Goten? I'm always he's a, he's curious about He's a little guy. He's just a little Goku. He's a little, he's a little, Goku. little dude. I think he's Goku. He's small Goku, but smart. Yes. The sleeves is crazy. <laughs> I think, you know what? This is going to be a crazy one. But as of recently, man, I was reading the manga for a while, but then I stopped. I stopped right at right after the Cell games. I, I stopped for some reason. I think I just got unfactuated there for a little bit because it was just a, I'm just going to read from like mm-hmm. from here to here. But nah, but Cell. I got, I love, I hear Toriyama hate Cell's design because he's all dotted. Mm-hmm. But dude, that motherfucker is 100% akiri toriyama design bro. Such, nobody could have made him it's bro it's such an iconic design too <laughs> like that color palette you don't see anywhere other than him yeah. green and, and yellow orange red. Yeah. yeah a little bit of red and orange like dude he just it, it's so weird his like i I'll, I'll use an example araki makes like really weird characters but then toriyama also makes weird characters but in a completely different fashion. It is so weird, dude. Just, I just drive. Look, just look at that. Look, look at, at how Goku. weird that is, but it's like so good. Orange. He's wearing orange. Orange. And blue. Goku made orange a popular color. Real. So that's, Real. that's my favorite character was is Goku. It was Vegeta. Like I remember hating Goku at the beginning. Really? But like once you understand Goku, you're like He's Did you ever best. watch Dragon Ball? Though? That's a real question to both. I watch Dragon Ball. I, yeah. I, I didn't watch Dragon Ball. <gasps> that's arguably no, no. Depending on the fan, that's the, arguably the best part. Really, it's yeah, pretty it, good. It depends on how. I, I've I've always heard that Z is like it's the more best action and serious, but yeah. Dragon Ball is more and, fun. Yeah, it's it's fun and goofy. It's it's totally up your alley. I, you'd I, probably I, like it. You'd yeah. love it. I think you'd it, it'd be your favorite part. <laughs> it probably would. I don't know. Boo Saga is too good. And it's you know, pretty much Gotenks the whole time. Dragon Ball. Yeah. <laughs> Until like the fucking tournaments, the tournament saga is where it's just like, okay, this is just yeah, Dragon Ball Z. It's, it's serious, yeah. Where you can tell he decided, oh, I know what I want in the future of this series. Yeah, yeah I, I just like the threat of the planet blowing up in the episode. <laughs> I do like that. Yeah. All right. One last question for Dragon Ball okay. and Akira Toriyama. What is your favorite moment? Favorite moment? Fuck. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's hard, dude. That, that's hard. That is hard. Like, out of the fights, I'd have to say probably Majin Vegeta versus Goku is probably my favorite fight. That one, yeah, that one's good too. Fuck. One of my favorite moments, I'd have to say, these are all coming from the Boo Saga, so cle- like clearly that's my favorite part, but it's either when Kid Boo blows up Earth, and it's just like the like the demise the Goku saying it, no don't do it the desperation do from it. Goku and Vegeta <laughs> trying to save their sons but then like s- having to s- sacrifice them in order to beat Boo yeah and then uh it's either that or when they everyone on earth does the spirit bomb oh, that's a good or one the in- or is it earth or the entire universe does the universe the, the universe Galaxy. The uni- yeah that was because that that's like a moment that was like built up from like or it's the a very, galaxy it's a galaxy from like one. the very start of z everyone was like it, it was like built up that the spirit bomb was going to be important mm-hmm. but at any time he used it, it didn't work until then until that moment when it took every single person yes he was so good at build-ups he knew how to set something up and I, then 
and give it like it's justice I, in the end. Because th- wasn't everyone in hell too giving in to yeah, the they're, yeah, they're helping. I, I, I think everyone go killed. Was, that, was, that was all filler, but however, that was good filler. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that was a, that was a good addition. I think one thing. Uh, this is the, this is I give anime very few anime this compliment. If the filler is able to add to it, you you got something good there. Very true. It's very good because the fact that so many people like use. I'll use this for example. The fact that PyCon is such an iconic character Under and he appears in a movie aside one of the most popular characters, it just it's it tells you something. Yeah. But in terms of my favorite moment, oh no, what the, what I wanted to say before, I'm, I'm, there's too many thoughts right now. I need to study how he's able to build that up because I feel like if you're able to tap into the build up potential of Akira Toriyama, I think anybody can become like at least a decent writer. Yeah. Because I've been studying Iraqi, I've been studying uh, Dune and like other like science fictional works, but like I got I got to tap back into Dragon Ball again, man. I got to. But in terms of favorite moments. Fuck, dude. There's a lot of them, bro. There's so many racing through my mind. I think genuinely this is probably going to be the most basic ass one, but I do have a secondary one. I don't think a lot of people are gonna are gonna be like, "Wow, that's your favorite." Is Goku versus Vegeta the fucking pose up, bro? The oh, pose up, the is iconic. Just the versus the versus good. the other one, bro. When when you knew you knew it was gonna be crazy when you had those two guys like looking like that, bro. Mm. Like if you if you look in the franchise to where Goku was till that point, it's like, oh shit, it's about to go down. Like this guy's the strongest of of his current race right now. How was Goku going to defeat them? And that in that fight, Goku didn't win that bitch by any no, means. He yeah, got he, his he ass actually kicked. lost. He got kicked. Vegeta's technically drawed with Goku and beat him more. It's it's really weird. You have to find no, find nobody the details. Nobody ever to it. acknowledges it, but Vegeta has a winning record against Goku. <laughs> it is, but it's it's crazy, dude. And like that that fight's crazy. The second one being, and this is the only time, and I'm and I'm and I'm kind of shocked, but I kind of know why it never went anywhere. Was a, it was a Toriyama with the first appearance of Cell, especially mm-hmm. in the anime where they added to it, where he killed everybody mm-hmm. so was just a literal in my opinion this is gonna be crazy to say is a better monster than frieza sure you can blow up a planet that's scary mm-hmm. but when you kill everybody slowly and drink them to death and look like that i'm like i'm sorry to say it brother but like Cell was a cell was a I, I even remember that fucking like, threat, dude. For, for a time, I didn't I didn't like the cell saga that much, but mm-hmm. rewatching it over again is just like, man, cell was such a good he villain. He was good. He was for for what ev- like the, for the entire series, what like happened up until that point, like it was perfect. Yes, it was. It was <laughs> the cell saga was so good. Akira Toriyama fucking died. He was like, dude, I can't. I can't write no more. I, I that was a poor choice of words. Oh well, yeah, that it was. <laughs> no, but like creatively, that's where he, that's where he tapped out. He's like, I got one more in me, and a lot of people complain about that one. I know you like it, but like, like general general consensus is Boo Saga is not like everybody's favorite. I think he already had it planned as a trilogy. Oh, mm-hmm. oh no, definitely a lot of the way it ends do. is like you know, like, like that was where it was supposed to end. Yeah. Uh, my favorite moment is well, I have two. Like you guys, and I have a lot, bro. There's more. But there's so more than so one. Much the stuff. moment Frieza goes final form, and that everyone, everyone's like, shoot, where it has Vegeta switch sides and be like, I gotta help these guys mm-hmm. out. That has to be the best moment. Like everyone's scared, and they, then Vegeta just gets be, everyone just gets trashed. But my, I think number one would have to be when Goku first turns Super Saiyan. That's that, that one's a good too. Good you know what's crazy in the manga? That's only like two pages. Just ah! no, no, it is. It's crazy. Yeah, yeah, it's only two. It's I think it's a page and a half actually. But in the in the anime, it's <laughs> it's slightly longer. It's it's wow. Most one of the most iconic transformations is just two p- a page and a half. It's crazy, dude. Oh. This is where we say thanks. Thanks, Thank you, Toriyama, Toriyama. for not only <laughs> what you created, but what you inspired others to create. Real. All right, Caleb. Oh, All Lord. right. Now, now that we've paid our respects as we should, it is time to get to episode one hundred. 
of Totally Oblivious. We made it this far. We did. A hundred episodes in. Who would who would have thought? Who not, not me. me. Not me. <laughs> uh, so I did a survey, as many of you know. It were broken. It. I had to do two surveys <laughs> because I don't know what happened in the first one. Like the link just killed itself. <laughs> Apparently. But uh, I asked favorite moments from the podcast from the last, I guess, ninety nine episodes. Episode. Uh, and we have ourselves a, a list of those, but I guess spoilers since he's here, the most voted favorite guest, Colby. Colby, uh, Colby is the number uh, one. Uh, is that the chief? Oh. It is. Oh. Colby, uh, the number it. one guest on Totally Oblivious podcast. Am I even which a makes guest sense anymore? Because I, 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 yeah, I think he's just honorary. <laughs> yeah. Host. Give me a Dragon Ball. <laughs> Give me a oh, Dragon Ball. Some of. Wow. Grandpa Gohan's ball. Grandpa he said ball. Gohan. You said ball. You said ball. I thought you said ball. So I'm like, who do you want? Whose balls do you want? Alex, get your mind out of that gutter. <laughs> <laughs> what? Uh, but yeah. Um, I now have the responses. I guess we're ready to go. But yeah. Let's see if anybody... <laughs> So is the number one guest invited for this 100th episode? Is that how it went? <laughs> yes, that, that's how this worked. I, I am a little confused by one of the answers, but I guess we'll get through this. Uh, so I'll read, the, I'll read the first one first. Might as well. Have you looked through these or no? Uh, not one of the new ones, but I have read most of these. So I guess we'll start with the guests. Uh, Colby won. Uh, unanimously, <laughs> almost. Unanimously, apparently. Almost. There's like quite a few votes for Colby. One for Cassius. I wonder who voted that. <laughs> Jar Jarrett got a vote for best guest. <laughs> Dante got a vote for best guest. <laughs> Real. <laughs> His favorite guest slash side character. So I guess that makes sense. Real. Don that that was a. Colton got none, bro. Dude, that is that is a shame. And what's crazy too is I think somebody uh, missed the idea <laughs> because their favorite guest slash side character is Harvest Poop Story. <laughs> Who's Harvest Poop Story? The, the oh, poop. the poop story. Oh, it, it's, oh. It's the, the, we have to make a mess. The, the, the poop, the poop itself is a story. Yeah, we have oh, to make side, it. Oh, no. Does he mean the guy? Is that his favorite side character? That the the up? guy from the story? Yes. Told, the, yes. Mythical, the mythical werewolf. <laughs> yes. 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 The werewolf. Size <laughs> the werewolf who pooped. That was still crazy. That man just left on an atomic really bomb did. in the toilet. <laughs> uh, I guess we can talk about who we've liked on the podcast. I, I got to give a shout Dante. out. Dante. Dante. Dante just gotta, showing up. Got to give a shout out. One of our earlier guests, I guess, other than Colton, but Andrew Fry. I want him That was again. a great, yeah. he was a great guest. Yes. Real. We had such a, those two episodes he was on, we had such good conversations. Real. Like that sports one was our highest viewed video for, for the longest time. For a while. Tell our random one about until, us. Until about us being bros. Being bros, talking about football and video games. Real ass shit, bro. Maybe that's the market we need to tap into. I think you have to do like a guest every month or something like I, that. I was thinking that too. I, I do want to do a lot more guests. Mm -hmm. like, Still need an Alexis on? I know. I'm I'm <laughs> I'm trying. I'm that's trying. why there's a backup in guests. It's Alexis clogging up all the. She clogged. The, <laughs> she clogged the guest pipeline. Is she, is she the harvest uh, werewolf? <laughs> she pooped. <laughs> She's like pointing out of the. <laughs> that's <laughs> put it. What? That's what you said that one time. <laughs> Have you guys ever taken a poop so big and that is out of the, the water? God. <laughs> That's that's a okay. I wasn't thinking about that. Oh Jesus. man, do you guys have a favorite guest? I think it probably is Andrew. Andrew was really good. Probably was very good. I say Jarrett. Jarrett was good. Jarrett some. was good. His his one and done so far of <laughs> being a guest. I would like. I would also like to have Jarrett back, but he's a very busy guy. Yes, he's in Seattle. We'll have him again though. He will, so. he will. Jarrett will return like a Marvel <laughs> movie. <laughs> I kind of want to make an edit of him being Thanos. 
<laughs> there's a no. This is just random as hell. But there's a Discord picture of him slumped in his gaming chair with his camera on. He's just like this. <laughs> I don't have it. I want it though. I want it. All right, we'll move on to favorite bit. So <laughs> this one says, uh, Colby making the podcast dumb. Is that's, that you? That's not true. No, I would. I didn't put that. <laughs> I love I that Because I don't make the podcast dumb. I make it fun. Not dumb. So far, Colby's not sticking to the... To the bit. The, the this bit. is a new Colby. He's this trans... Is, what are Colby. you? He, he's depressed. He's de- this is depressed, Colby. It's, it's really this hard to be all enthusiastic to the entire day, bro. It has not left my mind. Literally, the, 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 the song just keeps... <laughs> it's crazy. Everybody like doesn't like GT, but everybody agrees. The ending and that song, banger. <laughs> All right, here's another one. Uh, I'll re- th- this one real quick. Uh, I think this person just really liked the Harvest Poop story because they also put that as their favorite bit. <laughs> do you think that's Do you think that's uh, uh, Mitchell? I think it's Mariah. Real. I- I'm I'm pre- I'm like certain it's Mariah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, another favorite bit: Alex ranting. Real. Alex, Alex rants. So Hold on, real bit. quick. <laughs> Hold on, real quick. Let me it go. Is, it is my best go bit. Off. I do it in my video sometimes. <laughs> Hold on. Let me rant the, real the, quick. This one made me laugh. This person's favorite bit was Caleb pretends to be dumb like Alex, which I, I just got to say, it's I'm not pretending. <laughs> <laughs> he is dumb as me. It, it's not a bit. <laughs> I just actually am. <laughs> I understand. You always say you're dumb. And then there's just times you just have to argue. Like, you are dumb. Oh, I'm right. <laughs> Look, that's like making a that's like when muscle man says my mom but if somebody else makes the joke then he's like hold on you can't make fun of my mom (laughs) wait a minute that's fucked up man you can't say that another favorite bit this is clearly a a fan favorite uh the (laughs) the poop story leprechaun toilet (laughs) i think that's already number one on the (laughs) i think that's our you know what's crazy that's That's our, our best moment that's our best moment that the most stupid episode to ever exist contains our best <laughs> moment. <laughs> it's who crazy. Was in that episode, and who got us to that spot? Mm-hmm. That's right. Through, Make me through being stupid. Make a werewolf head host. Kobe <laughs> <laughs> takes over the podcast. <laughs> That's crazy. Uh, <laughs> giving random nicknames at the start. I, yeah. That is a good running bit. That one's a good one. I like. I, I, I'm trying to keep that up as best I can. Mm-hmm. My creative muscles sometimes are very Caleb tired. Cold Brew Perez. Cold Brew. <laughs> Alex Armageddon. Panera. P- P- Prunet. P- 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 Panera. <laughs> that is my new title. Alex Panera. <laughs> that is raw, bro. That wow. is actually raw. <laughs> get us that's, that, that's my Super Saiyan name. <laughs> get us that sponsorship. <laughs> I'd love it. Alex the Panera. A favorite bit also is brothers don't make me laugh. I guess they like the don't laugh episode. No, oh, we should do another one of that. Yeah. I don't know how I guess this person liked it, but I, I wasn't sure how well that would do as a podcast episode. Me neither, but it turned out very well. Yeah. That took a lot of editing. Pass me some over, bro. Like that I think out of all of them, yeah. even out of the ones that like the audio messed up, I think the don't laugh one took the longest to edit because of how much i had to change our cameras uh make sure the videos were in sync to what we're watching Mm -hmm. but uh yeah i guess at least somebody out there liked it so that means i must have done a good job editing that good job good job job, caleb and post caleb and post the here's a different entity no hold on i'm shocked no one put the recurring bit of Caleb the host being a completely different entity. <laughs> that would actually make Caleb me sad. Caleb the host and Caleb and post being completely different. Yes. Caleb with the most. Well, the, There's a the, third one. The final bit is that was voted by the fans was uh, the tactical shovel. <laughs> I, I, I'd have to assume that that's means an old the, fan. The, uh, the idea that the tactical shovel can defeat gods. You gotta be uh, an OG fan. The, only the the original only the real ones. ones no, no. <laughs> it did kill a god though. Apparently, on an episode the magic eight ball. He's right there, the baby. The baby. I I brought him back Good. for the hundredth episode. We killed its parent. <laughs> There's the shovel there too. I just realized it's sitting right next to <laughs> the thing that killed its its <laughs> guardian. 
Mm. Um, that might be in poor taste. I picture when Caleb talks about how strong his stupid shovel is. I just imagine like Final Fantasy where you're just like, just throwing stuff around and zipping around. You know, I, I think I got to agree with this one, though. I, I, I do think the tackle shovel is a very good bit. Because it makes Alex angry every single time. <laughs> it's so stupid. It makes no like how <laughs> it's so. It's a dinky shovel. How is it be? Every, how is it better than a just, broadsword? It's, it's better than imagine it like uh, on Monster Hunter using the the <laughs> switch axe. It's a little you gotta shovel. be. A, you gotta be a cr- okay. When the next Monster Hunter game comes <clears> out, <throat> if I see anybody <laughs> running fucking switch axe. I'm killing you. That's me. That's, That's all I run. Oh, That's okay. all I use. That's my favorite weapon. It's the most fun weapon to use. At that point, just use the uh, use the big sword. No, mm. it's less fun mm. and less mobile. The axe is faster. And it's faster up. and I haven't I haven't played since the fucking like power. I haven't I haven't played since World. like the winter one. See, oh, no. you should have played Rise. Rise was good. Just didn't have the time. I just got bored. I just it was, got it, was a, it. it was a busy time. No. In your life, I, I think you were editing a lot during that. So I was. sad, but yeah, that was that's probably my favorite monster hunter. And my I'm almost done with Persona, by the way. Fa- favorite bit being tackle shovel, what's, yellow button. What's your? Oh, here we go, Alex. Almost done with Persona. Somehow, after 400 hours, I'm sure. <laughs> 400 hours. It's fucking long, bro. Uh, oh, what's I, your guys' favorite bits? I'm 25 hours in Final Fantasy seven Chapter Four. I'm almost there. It's crazy. Favorite bit. <laughs> I think I do like I like like uh Kelvin Post. That one Kelvin Post. Kelvin Post. <laughs> Kelvin Post is just a slave to our our, our needs. I like the tier list because you guys get so worked up on the <laughs> making the tier list. We need to do a console one. We See, have yet what, to do one. What's funny about the tier list is we get very worked up on very certain ones, but <laughs> everything else we agree on. Yeah, yeah. That's true. It's like all of them are A's and then like very few. We're like, do you like that thing? Yeah, I like that thing. Let's put an A. <laughs> and then I'll just throw like a little wrench and you guys are like, oh, whoa, 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 uh, another bit that uh, is going to haunt me, I think, a, a recent bit that's going to haunt me for the rest of my days is the, the Sydney Sweeney plan. Okay, that, 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 that one was a good one. That one's truly going to haunt me until I die. Every, every time Alex sees Sydney Sweeney on any social media, Yo, when she he immediately had, when she sends had it her, to me. When Twitter was going crazy over the fact she was wearing a revealing uh clothing i was like i gotta send it to this guy right now he sent me like five messages that day all of tweets of sydney Sweeney, and real like, and then i i thought it was done and then a couple days ago i get a message from him on instagram and it's another sydney sweeney post <laughs> I'm like, you did I'm, this yourself anakin I, I'm, ne- I'm never i'm never gonna live that down and what's funny is i never even said anything sexual during that entire plan I think you went ho he ho ho and you did like a color pole. Hey, hey. Hey, hey, I don't hey. even remember doing that. Oh. I'm gonna maybe I imagine I'm gonna it. gaslight myself into thinking you did that. So <laughs> bit makes I, you funny. Did. I did think it. that's what's already happened. <laughs> <laughs> Real. All right. Let's move on to favorite moments. <laughs> this this person's favorite moment was the sugar nips. <laughs> <laughs> sugar nips. You remember when we were talking about the sugar babies mm-hmm. and we I sugar buy daddies. or sugar daddies, whatever. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I came up with the alternate name for them to be sugar nips or sugar tits. Oh yeah, That's I a remember way better that. name. They would sell better. Yeah. They would sugar just tits. have a picture of two big jugs. <laughs> Couldn't sell it in stores like they do, but I'm sure people <laughs> would buy it. Buy them at hey, Adam and Eve's. Bad. F- f- what did it say? Bad. All, p- all publicity is good, good publicity. publicity. Look at Grand Theft Auto and Mortal Kombat. Exactly. Real. Sell titties <laughs> right next to your Coca Colas. <laughs> <laughs> that 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 Jade that Jade commercial of her like trying to online dating will always be forever. Have you ever seen it? I don't think so. She's like, I'm Jade. I'm a Scorpio. I'm s-, and she just starts living off uh, examples of her and like is like oddly sexual. And it's like, but you got to do one thing. Oh. And then it switches over to like a Mortal Kombat ad. It's like, you have to beat me in Mortal Kombat. I think it's like eight. 
Su- yeah. Never burned it. I home. never saw that one. Really? Yeah. Wow. I think okay. that was a comeback one. Yeah, it was. Uh, another favorite moment, Colby losing sanity with the Wheel of Fate. Oh, my gosh. You guys don't understand how exhausted Colby's, I got. But we were doing the same things as you. I don't know. My brain was like flipping oh, up other I accents and stuff. The, the funniest part of that whole episode to me was the fact that Colby just kept getting Nicolas Cage. <laughs> and I hated that. I, I don't know what the odds were of him getting Nicolas Cage three times in a row. <laughs> And that every one of Alex's accents was just Southern. <laughs> <laughs> it's something else. He just went Southern. Uh, I don't know, partner. <laughs> I don't know, partner. partner. Okay, this one I don't understand. Caleb cheats on Don't Make Me Laugh. Uh, I don't recall <laughs> cheating. You did. I don't recall cheating. And oh. is it really cheating if at the end I declared that I lost? No. I, I, like I'd be like this, be like... <laughs> I I li- he wouldn't give himself a point. <laughs> I, I literally said I'm pretty sure I lost because yeah. I laughed like every time. <laughs> but I'm I, I don't know what epi- what are, are we watching the same episode? Because I don't remember cheating. That's what happens when the whole show is ran by Caleb's? <laughs> but I still <laughs> there's, lost. There's multiple Caleb's here. I still lost the episode. How is that cheating? <laughs> um. Mm-hmm. Nom, 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 nom. you have a a reddit page where it gives you <laughs> it keeps tally of your points but i have no points i think i have negative points <laughs> if there was a point system i have no ne- i think me and alex both have negative probably points. alex won did i win i don't even remember that's right alex did win he did win that episode he didn't laugh once time. he did laugh actually, actually. no he did, I did he laugh like I- maybe twice <laughs> Boobies. <laughs> and then uh, uh, another favorite moment magic eight ball versus tactical shovel now, <laughs> that that, was such- that, that's that's a deep cut right there that's probably my favorite part you guys did that, that is truly a deep cut <laughs> <That's> <laughs> the, funny. the tactical shovel post episode getting d- destroying the eight ball <laughs> My girlfriend recording all of it. Yeah, she was there. She was. Live, live performance. <laughs> Real. The one fan to get a live performance. Right. <laughs> fucking, it was so dumb. Okay, uh, next one, next one, next one. Uh, th- another one, Harvest Poop Story. <laughs> oh my gosh. It, it, I won't lie, that it is a banger. That is a banger story. That's why I had to make a clip of that. Because it was just so... It's so insane that that even existed perhaps we need a new poop story then all right colby you just keep eating random foods and then tell us the i have a poop story the new poop story (laughs) there's no shot this is the new poop story all right go i want to hear it i'm gonna need a dragon ball for this one (laughs) (laughs) wait wait if you eat all seven of these do you get a wish he becomes omega shenron right then and there that's true. So. Oh my gosh, you made like five of those. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> no, this is an ice cream. Oh. Anyway, poop. Whoops. What's your what's the new poop story? So I had a babysit. Every single one of these younger siblings and Nephews and nieces. You only have one younger sibling. <laughs> uh, a great flop. Uh, it's, uh, it's getting hot here. What is happening? <laughs> Anyways, I babysit a lot. The last child I baby- babysat was my nephew, Jordan. Oh, yeah. Oh, no. I know this story. He was glued to the TV. He cannot stop watching TV. Damn kids. And it was a problem. Just like his grandpa. It was a problem because he would just poop his pants and I'd be like, Jordan, you can't be pooping your pants. You got to go in the toilet. Okay, I will. This goes on for days. <laughs> Weeks even. Weeks. <laughs> Months? Question? Months. So I wake up. He's up watching TV. They tell me, Colby, he can't watch TV. He's going to just get drawn to it. And I'm like, but I don't want to. <laughs> He's so easy when he watches TV. <laughs> so I'm like, all right, Jordan. Jordan, look at me. Look at me, Jordan. Jordan, look at me. Oh. <laughs> oh, listen to me. Don't poop your pants. Okay, I won't. 
Okay, and like I knew he had like these little subtle gestures, like I knew he was about to poop. And I let him know. I was like, Jordan, do you have to poop? Jordan. Wait, Jordan, you have to poop. Yeah. Did he have diapers on or is he yeah, just he like- Yeah, he has diapers okay, on. Okay. This is the potty training stage. Oh, this is the potty training arc? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And he's like, no, I don't have to poop. I'm like, all right. A minute goes by and I see him go, whoosh, whoosh, run off. I'm like, I'll give him 10 seconds. I'm like, Jordan, Jordan, quiet. Run upstairs. Can you guess what this child's doing? <laughs> He's using the toilet like a little gentleman. <laughs> <laughs> One would hope. So I go upstairs and I catch him with poop in his hand. <laughs> <laughs> what? But he doesn't see me right away. He has poop in his hand and he's like looking for places to put to hide his poop. <laughs> so his little baby brain <laughs> understands. Uh -huh. His little baby brain is smart enough to know what he's doing. <laughs> Okay. He knows he shouldn't poop his pants. He needs to go in the toilet. He knows that. Uh-huh. But here he is hiding his poop. He didn't want to take the time to go on the toilet and tell me he had to go poop. He wanted to hide it. So he's handful of poop. Yeah. And this is pants, all true. Poop droppings all over. Huh? And I'm like. <laughs> and, and this incident is occurring after a previous incident where he had painted with his own poop yeah so that is why it was urgent for him to know hey jordan let us know when you have to poop but it's that quick like he was gone for like 10 seconds he ran upstairs grabbed his poop out of his diaper and was looking for a place to hide it <laughs> so i was like <sighs> took him washed him off gave him a bath He's all happy. Yeah, yeah. Good and I went, Good that she became a nurse. <laughs> spanked him. Jordan, don't grab your poop. Tell me when you have to poop. Oh, okay. That's the story. Yeah. He had he had an issue when it came to pooping. How the fuck? Okay. I, I'm i so confuffled. <laughs> we were too. What? Baffled for the longest time. Did his brain neurons not make the connection of, wait a minute, I won't get in trouble if I use this <laughs> porcelain horse clearly not he clearly did not register in or his brain. just listen to the instructions of hey let me know when you have to poop okay and then he never told me ran upstairs real quick 10 seconds was gone for 10 seconds and then he was already with poop. that means halfway up the stairs he already <laughs> had his <laughs> head down his diapers being like hold up let me grab this and that's what it was real quick. Oh, going up the stairs like worked it up and he like just pooped and what's also moment. funny like, uh -oh. is that's not even the first time that he tried to hide his poop <laughs> he he not only painted with his poop but then following that tried to hide his poop on two different occasions is he like the poop riddler <laughs> <laughs> The poop Riddler. No, no. What I'm imagining is Jordan being like, "Ah, yes, Colby. What is brown and, and round? <laughs> I can you find it as fast as you can? Ah, uh, ah, uh, uh, that's not the one with the corn. <laughs> no. Well, how does how does how does Riddler sound the joke in the Batman movie? Oh my movie? gosh, that's funny that you say that because that's another Jordan poop story that he. So last time he was here. He pooped in the toilet and didn't flush. You know and, what? He's making progress. And Mariah, well, this is, <laughs> I'd hope so, because it's four years after the incident. <laughs> so he's, I think he's like eight. He was eight last time he was here. And so he pooped, didn't flush. Mariah goes in there, comes out and is like, Jordan, you didn't flush the toilet. And he's like, I did flush. She's like, no, you didn't. I see your poop. Go back in there and flush. And he goes in the bathroom and he looks at the toilet. He says, I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> <laughs> and we're, we're all sitting right here playing Mario Party with them. So we hear all of this and we just bust out laughing. <laughs> We're like, no way. He just said, I don't remember eating corn. <laughs> well, the real question is, hold on. Like, like we started questioning that. We're like, maybe that wasn't his poop. <laughs> no, the no, Riddler. hold on, hold on, hold on. The Riddler side of him. <laughs> how, does, how, how, does, how does Riddler sound in the Batman movie? 
I forgot his like his mom. Oh, the new one. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, but like when he's talking, he's like, I don't know how he sounds. I'm trying to make Jordan sound like Batman like playing poop jokes. The Riddler. But, I da- remember but the real Arkham. question is, the real question is, Colby. Yes. Did I eat that corn? <laughs> did I eat the corn or did I not? Do you remember what we Time had for dinner? Time is ticking. <laughs> When's the next poop coming? I think, oh, no. I think did he eat corn? Yes I think no? Candace. Maybe is- I ate laxatives this time. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe, Maybe I'm, your time's running shorter I'm than you still do. pooping now. <laughs> tick, 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 Colby. <laughs> Where are the diapers and the wipes? <laughs> oh no, you've lost those two. <laughs> <laughs> Only 12 seconds. <laughs> 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 no fucking shot, bro. Oh my oh. gosh. Uh, oh. I think all of Candace's kids have a poop store. R- r- okay, wait. Them. Hold on. Hold on. Can- so, no, not Candace's kids. Her bloodline has poop stores. So, okay, that that means then there is an originator. There is a Gotham person of the of the, <laughs> the of the Gotham Candace bloodline. Poop store. So, who is the Gotham? Who is starting these poop shenanigans? The poop shenanigans. Well, I don't think Mariah's are too bad, but it's just because she's lactose intolerant. <laughs> Icky. She always has issues, and she loves eating ice cream. Icky. As lactose intolerant people for some reason do. Actually, I don't know if... Well, yeah, it's, it's ice cream. Oh, we do have a poop story with Cassius. I, I, I can't remember if I told on the podcast. Roast him. I don't think I do. <laughs> Roast him. This isn't on Cassius, really. This is more on uh, the people who left us in charge of him. Uh, so we we were watching E3, I think, 2012. Uh, it was like, or I think it was... 2011. Is when they announced... He was, a, he, was a, he was a baby. God, you know what's a nostalgic memory? Right, E3, right. guys. E3. But yeah, Cassius, Cassius was a baby in diapers, and we're watching E3. And uh, he pooped. And it was the most awful smelling poop. And I was like, goodness sakes, we need to change them. And Colby's looking for the diapers. They didn't leave us with anything to change them. Like, we, we had no way of dealing with the stench. And he wanted to be and like <laughs> right in front of us the entire yeah. time. And his expression when he was getting changed was like, change me, peasants. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> but but so we, we had no way to change them. So we're like, all right, we we just have to deal with the stench then. So we grabbed Febreze from the bathroom and just directly <laughs> doused it into his diaper. <laughs> and we're like, yep, that'll that'll deal with that until somebody comes back with <laughs> supplies so we can actually deal with his poop problem. Hey, Hell divers ass fucking <laughs> problem. <laughs> We all play sorry. tonight, though. We do. I love yeah, the mechs writers. are coming out. We have to. We have to conquer the planet. True. They're already out. Yeah, Someone they already conquered it. it. Oh, god damn it! <laughs> but yeah, and I guess the final one from Candace's lineage, Angie. Very recently during Thanksgiving, uh, we're having dinner, all of us, and uh, she gets up, starts walking towards the bathroom, or like my mom's room. Where we all just got done eating. And was there corn all of a sudden there's, poop? there's like, there's something on the ground and my mom thinks it's potpourri and goes to pick it up. And it's a chunk of poop <laughs> that Angie somehow got out of her diaper and it like rolled down her pant leg onto the floor the poop without, any, strikes without again. any of us knowing. The poo- Did you say the poodler? The poop, the poop riddler. riddler strikes the again. The poop riddler. So you're saying Jordan somehow orchestrated this. <laughs> He's like, well, Batman, it seems as though another poop has entered the facility, no, but it's a, how? It's a copycat. The copycat? They read about this other riddler. The Redditors. The Redditors. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe there were Redditors in that fucking movie. That's so Fu- what, what wasn't I can't remember what the amount of followers he had too, but like, like twenty seven or something. It was like extremely low. <laughs> oh my gosh! Anyway, but yeah, that's that's all the poop stories from Candace's lineage. Um, uh, another favorite moment: anytime I rage, which <laughs> you like know what? Every episode. What do you mean? 
I don't rage every episode, but specifically towards Cassius <laughs> rage. Because <laughs> episode you just getting mad at him. Oh, but <sighs> and the ghost story. <laughs> oh my gosh, that was in that episode. Too. I <laughs> All hate the one of the things that made you angry was in that episode because he kept bringing it up. He brought he brought up maybe he did this maybe he wrote this <laughs> he orchestrated this maybe he's the, the poodler those are his those <laughs> are the <laughs> those, those are his favorite moments so the episode he was on he orchestrated Next it to make me angry. We'll say, what's a poodler <laughs> it's a poodler. <laughs> poodler. so quite, uh, confused no that, a poodler? that's his brother his brother's the poodler <laughs> <laughs> uh, someone's favorite moment is Alex crying. Oh, I don't know if that's a good thing or a it's happened like thing. two episodes. It probably happened like it has happened twice. Yeah. There's there's the the infamous episode five. That one just hit me, bro. <laughs> Alex, that was Alex had a full breakdown. All right, we did poop part two. And it's time for Alex cry part. Alex three. cry part. The, three. the audience demands it. <laughs> what the fuck? I think that was the start of this episode. <laughs> oh, that is true. That is true. No, uh, that is true. You guys I, got your I, part I, three. You, you, sometimes the camera catches me when I when I'm in an emotional state. An emotional. I would. I, I don't do it very often. Uh, final favorite moment. Uh, watching the aftermath of the one chip challenge. Uh, you know what? That's almost, a good one. We almost died. Me and Alex could have potentially died. Should I tell? Have, do they know? I don't think that I've said my story. About of. the chip. Oh, I, yeah. I also no, ate the no chip. I don't actually know this either. Did so, you die? Oh, my gosh. So Are you just was, a phantom? I, no, he's real. <laughs> he's real. He's still here. These scars. Do you see these scars? <laughs> I. Was that your a big. Bane, Bane breaking your back moment? Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> the what's your hey, challenge? I, I'll just give this real quick. It's very similar to the story. What Colby relayed to me was very similar to what you relayed to me later that, that <laughs> oh, day the after poop? recording. The fiery poop? Okay, hey, no. more yeah. poop. Jeez. Here's another poop. Why is this a shit episode? <laughs> <laughs> really? Episode 100 and it's just a shit it's, episode? It's all poop. All right, Colby, go, go ahead. So I think you guys gave me a huge chunk. It was a huge, it's like, good. I think it's two thirds of what... You guys, I mean, we had very little. Yeah, we fair. we didn't tell you to eat what was left. No, I was I was you, on the you phone. You fucking ate all of it. Yeah, I, I think, think there's maybe there's one, like one tiny pro. piece left I ate the that we're chunk. gonna have to cast into the flame. <laughs> you know what? Ritually, right now, ritualistically, right now. I don't even know where it is. I don't know. Are you Probably serious? Expired. Do you have it? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah the shit still be in the room. But uh, I was on a phone call with Jillian. And I was like, should I eat this? She's like, do it. It's not that hot. I was like, Your okay. Girlfriend lied yeah. to you. And I was like, oh. And it like, it wasn't like, because the challenge says you're not supposed to eat anything for like an hour. Mm -hmm. And your dumb ass ate something after. No. That's the smart thing to do. That's what we did. That's the smart thing is to eat. Oh. <clears throat> so uh, I ate cream. it and it, it was not spicy. I have ate more spicy things in my life. Um, the Buffalo Wild Wings hottest, I think, is way more spicier than that. I think that it attacks thing. the tongue more. Yeah. So, like, eating it was fine. I didn't even, I don't even think I coughed anything, ate it. I was like, hmm. I was kind of like breathing is kind of like hot Cheeto. Um, uh, you know, mm. how that feels after eating a bunch. And, like, it just hit my gut then and it was just on fire. Like, my stomach was melting. Mm hmm. I was like, oh no. <laughs> and I stood up. Like, I actually I sat for a while, like 30 minutes. I was like, oh my God. Like, not even feeling it in my mouth at all. I was just like grabbing my head. I'm like, oh my gosh. I'm my God. <laughs> Colby, Colby reenaction. And I didn't know what to do. It's all shh. You know, the, camera. <laughs> the actors all crying. <laughs> So like I had to stand up, walk around, pace around until that hour. Oh my gosh, that that was the worst. I, I was in so it was the worst, more than any stomach ache I've ever had. There, there's a reason I expelled those demons as soon as I popped. My I body had to <coughs> expel them as soon as I could. I didn't have that problem. I just had a poop. Yeah, so like I didn't eat anything. I think my body rejected it so fast in like an hour, like maybe two hours. Like it just, I had to poop then. Like it just shoved that 
chip out of my system. You know what I been a great way to get rid of it? Is a little poop. <laughs> a little poop like the size of a chip. No <laughs> way. Chip that I, no kidding. Would have been coffee. Because coffee just it sucks yeah. out your bowels and you just have to poop. So if anything, what we should have done is my mouth's on fire. You still want it? No, I'm good. <laughs> All right. But yeah, maybe for uh, a later date. The way Alex described his poop just sounded like he just obliterated the toilet <laughs> at the restaurant he was at. You I went out? No, I don't. I didn't go to a restaurant. I did it at home. You were at home? I thought you were at dinner with. I Matt. probably ate food, and then I went home to take a shit. Mm. <laughs> That's right. Alex refuses to use. <gasps> Wait a minute. Rooms. No, never mind. You were right. I, 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 know, was, I remember things. I was at, I was because the bathroom in, mm. in, in fucking Rodeo <laughs> looks, looks like a fucking bathroom. You find in a house, but no, I, Oh, you know what? You know what's fucked up too? Hold on. I'll tell this full story in context. You fucking reminded me. Okay. So we did the chip challenge, right? Mm hmm. And we were in the corner of the room over here suffering. Yes, we were suffering. I went home. Mm -hmm. I, I had a little bit of a tummy issue. <laughs> okay. Okay. And then I got ready for my date with my girlfriend. And no, it was with it. Was it the first? No, just no, no. Day. No, it was just a day. Oh one of, one of, yeah. they, they were dating for like four, three or four months yeah. up to this point. So. At the beginning of a relationship, it's, it still is, but it's not as bad as more. When when we separate from each other, it, one of us either gets super emotional because it's just it's just hard doing a long distance. Fair. So my girlfriend's having this moment, right? <laughs> <laughs> and I'm and I'm being there for her. I'm trying to comfort her while we are eating our food. <laughs> 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 And my tummy goes, brother. <laughs> we need to go. <laughs> and so I strategically, I used all my willpower. <laughs> Even Goku would have had a problem with this poop. <laughs> So I wait till my girlfriend is done having her moment. <laughs> Food's not done yet. I'm not wait, done eating my food you yet. You held it for the whole moment. <laughs> <laughs> I got home. I was like, babe, God. I love you. Oh my, could you imagine? Could you imagine Alex's face the whole time? Just <laughs> it's okay, babe. <laughs> we'll get the It's all right. <laughs> so, like, oh, babe, you're crying too. <laughs> I was emotional during it, but for several reasons. <laughs> so I get up, right? I go, oh no, this is what I say to her. I say, I say, oh, I, I try to, I, I try to be a good boyfriend, I try to settle her down. I'm like, all right, I'm like, hey, I have to, I have to go use the bathroom. I gotta go. I gotta go use the bathroom real quick and stuff. And I think at some point before that, I was like, yeah, we can get our, we can get the tab or whatever. So I head to the bathroom. <laughs> And I unleash is upon this, that toilet. Is this how you walked in like? <laughs> <laughs> no, it wasn't that bad. But I walked into the bathroom and I unleashed in there. <laughs> and at like some point during it, somebody knocked. And I did not respond. I was so embarrassed. Why would you not? Somebody knocked. They're here. <laughs> you they're, like, they're like. <laughs> Maybe he's not in here. <laughs> but and then I got up. I wiped so thoroughly just in case my asshole was leaking. <laughs> the guy, the guy in the door is like, "Cuidado, cuidado!" <laughs> oh, Dios mío! <laughs> But no, I wiped, I wiped fucking thoroughly, brother. I was so concerned. And then the I, I came roll. back to my girlfriend with a completely different attitude. I was relieved. <laughs> and uh, you think the guy walking in the stall after that was like, maybe we shouldn't eat the food here. <laughs> 
Oh, <laughs> that guy. Whatever that guy ordered, don't <laughs> give me that. <laughs> the chalupe. Oh, the chalupe. But no, then I came you out. Your three tacos. <laughs> <laughs> and I had to try to comfort my girl a little bit more after dealing with my own traumatic experience <laughs> after the wind chip challenge. But it was. <laughs> It was something fucking serious. <laughs> the toilet just crushed and like pinned against the just wall. Melted. <laughs> I actually was concerned to plugging it. <laughs> That's how much volume came out. <laughs> I'm telling you, brother. It was it was it was pretty lethal. See, it was, it was the funniest thing. I don't too. think I told Matt this story too. If she watches this, that's what happened during that. <laughs> What's funny too is. We were all, me and Colby were at my Aunt Connie's watching the uh, <sighs> March Madness tournament. <laughs> and, and I was just sitting there barely recovering from the the chip. I'm glad I threw it up. I'm so glad I did. But I was just sitting there washing my hands. Uh, Isaac just bought us all pizza. Mm-hmm. I was getting ready to eat and my phone starts just vibrating like crazy I and I check it. my phone it just goes oh <laughs> holy <laughs> F, my ace it's on fire <laughs> I remember I was in the bath no I was mid shit texting you <laughs> uh, bro was not sure he would make it out of their life <laughs> <laughs> oh, it was it was I wouldn't say it was traumatic, but like goddamn Oh my gosh. The who did at least I feel sorry for anybody who had to walk in that bathroom after that. <laughs> was it one where you had to take off your shirt and like wear it as a bandana? <laughs> okay. I have never so heard I, somebody I doing that. completely naked on the <laughs> toilet in a restaurant. Just got shooting out a <laughs> hyper beam out of his butthole. <laughs> Dude, okay. If you, audience, Look. have ever gone to a public place <laughs> and stripped to shit, brother, you have fucking problems. Uh, Alex looking like Shin Godzilla <laughs> and loading up to the <laughs> you know, shout out to all the shout out to the people who make toilets, bro. You really are the lifesavers out there. Because to- if toilets weren't a thing, there would just be a nasty Alex shit somewhere, probably in your own pants. Probably. What what a date that would have been. God. Oh man. Hey, you know what? I don't even feel bad for taking that shit during that date, bro. It was it was bad. It was bad. I think the alternative was literally crapping your pants. Oh. Oh Dios. Oh, do you guys have a favorite moment from the podcast? That one. <laughs> that one. The that after, one. the aftermath of the one chip. The story that was not told until now. The, the, this is this is now an I survived episode. Yes. I survived 100 episodes. Uh, I survived the one chip challenge. I can't think of one right now. A favorite? Oh, you want to know my favorite? It has to involve shit again. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's actually the one I was at work listening to it. And, uh, and Alex, he was talking about how uh bible or something and about saying he's like there's no way Satan doesn't know the story <laughs> the, 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 the bo- uh, he's just getting boxed by actually, gabriel Arch- or archangel okay, okay, apparently yeah. this is just a behind the scenes of so many episodes, episodes <laughs> no i looked into that it probably is not wrong <laughs> he, he has no idea what's coming no idea he's so he's so stupid because why would he though like what's the? You think you, he actually can read a holy scripture? You think he'd be able to yeah. read? Uh, if he can enter people's minds, you think <laughs> if that person knows the story, that he'd have an idea of what's supposed to happen. I don't, I don't think he does, bro. What's crazy? Is he is he just totally oblivious of this? Totally this oblivious reference in, in Satanism, crazy. Maybe it's just Insane. ignorance. Maybe he he's so stupid because it's like. You gotta be one dumbass motherfucker to fight somebody with infinite power. It's true. Ar- the Archangel Michael's just about to destroy that man. <laughs> all the other, all the other uh, angels, f- do not be afraid. We are here to help. 
Michael, I'm going to fucking obliterate you. Kill you. <laughs> <laughs> it's just Goku. <laughs> that was Joe Turo. Wow, you beat F- Anita. Would you beat Fighting? Get again? closer. I need to get closer Dude. to beat your ass. Do I have a favorite moment from the podcast? You don't. I don't know if I do. What? What? I can't think of one right now. It'd probably be the poop one because you were crying laughing. That poop one, the harvest poop was a very <laughs> funny moment. Uh, I think the the <laughs> Alex's Bigfoot testicles, I just re- rewatched. What that the fuck did I say? <laughs> His s'more that was oh, completely that burnt. was a good moment. That was funny. We should do. We should redo one of those. Except <laughs> yeah, not. I, I want to. I want to be outside again. Yeah, it's a fire. <clears throat> but yeah, it's too uh, cold. I don't know. I have a lot of favorite moments. Name one right now. Uh, there's the time when we. Mm-hmm. Uh. Mm-hmm. Oh, when we were that. talking with Jarrett and we were making a bit of how I was going to fight Seth Rogen to the death to see who's going to be the top podcaster. Mm-hmm. And me and Jarrett. <laughs> did you that. say Seth Rogen? I think I did say Seth Rogen. <laughs> 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 Joe Rogan. Fought, uh-huh. Fight Joe Rogan. And uh, <laughs> Jarrett made the whole scenario of how Joe Rogan was going to kill you <laughs> in front of me <laughs> like an anime villain. Here's a behind the scenes uh, <laughs> thing. I was so close to finishing uh, an animation on From that, that bit. same episode. And I think it, like the last part I worked on is like a two minute, maybe 40 second bit and it got deleted. So I just gave up. <laughs> It was oh, so shit. close to being done. Lost media. It is. There is totally oblivious totally lost oblivious media. Lost media. That's crazy. Of, so of the, the wingman story. Of how I was a, a, the greatest wingman of all time. That's all. I like. I had the part where you're Sephiroth and you killed whoever. I can't remember. Alex. I think it's Alex. got stabbed and he's like, what the? Like, I Nani? just got past that part. And then it was, it was, it was, it was coming gone. out good. Wow. Ashton. Ashton Kutcher. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, I have another a, one too. A clever huh? bit. No, that's the, that same, the same one. That's the same one. Dang it! Damn. Yeah. Lost. Lost media. There's lost media. <laughs> In 50 years, somebody's gonna somehow find the archive of that video. <laughs> Be like, whoa! All right, moving on. The final category: favorite episode. Uh, candy tier list is on here. That was a good, very mm-hmm. good episode. A lot of good moments. Oh, that's probably my favorite moment. One of my favorite bits to edit from the entire, I guess it's more of a moment of just editing rather than anything else, was when uh, you and Colby had the Oogie Boogie plush oh. and you were fighting it. I, uh, I don't know if you guys remember this from the episode, but I, if for the video listeners... You, you know what I'm talking about, but uh, I basically edited it as a Kingdom Hearts boss battle. Gave each of you guys your own <laughs> health bars and everything as Kingdom Hearts. Had, I had to create PNGs for each of your heads. It was uh, Colby, Alex, and Pichu heads, <laughs> all as in their slots as Kingdom Hearts characters. That was a good bit. And I had the, the encounter music playing for when, they're fi- when you fight Oogie Boogie in the game. <laughs> That's a good bit. Uh, that's, you that's, should do more stuff that's like that. That's probably my favorite. Like, you need to go beat the shit in more places. It, it, was, it was one of those things where as I was like editing it, it <laughs> came into my mind of how exactly I could make that as funny as possible. So it's just a spur of the moment thing. But that that is probably my favorite moment. Just just editing was. It was <gasps> such a fun when you When you get into the edit. editing rhythm of editing something in specific, it is baller. It is. It gets fun. It I, 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 I was so excited about it. I don't normally show people previews of episodes, but Cliff was in town. I just finished that episode, <laughs> and I had Cliff come into my room to watch that moment because I was so proud of it. I've had those moments many times with the cartoons. It's just like, oh, like it's so good. I gotta, I gotta, I just played over and over. Oh, I made this. <laughs> you know what I mean? Real. <laughs> all right me uh, when i look at my drawings oh I, 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 I really went crazy on this one <laughs> another favorite episode i think 
they say anything about movies slash games, which I think refers to any of the movies, act one, two, or three, mm-hmm. which, yeah, those are good episodes too. Yeah, those are. Just, I, I like doing those because it's just kind of like a, Laid seeing where, where movies are mm-hmm. at the current point in time, and also just giving a review over a movie that we enjoyed that we watched recently. Oh, yeah. Like, just reviewing Five Nights at Freddy's, that, that was, was good. That was very fun. A movie that I wasn't exactly like crazy looking forward to had Pretty fun good. reviewing it. Pretty good. Wish we got to do that with Godzilla, but time was just not on our side. <laughs> that movie was good. That was, that was such a, a good movie. best movie of 2023. They, by de- far. they deserve all the awards. They, they really do. Good job on that team. Uh, this person's favorite uh, episode is Alex is a Wizard. <laughs> that is also a very good episode. Despite the fact that there's audio issues, uh, Real. I get angry at those episodes. <laughs> I know. What do you guys Sad. think, uh, or more, Alex? What do you think of my stats? <laughs> Colby's broken stats. That was some bullshit. <laughs> man. I'm almost certain it has to do with age. I th- no, I think you. There's, I a, don't there's think a, so. a. There's a. It's not an age <laughs> thing. There's another. <laughs> there's another question on there. I had. A, I looked back at it. <clears throat> And if you and if you answer it differently, you get a difference. You get like a crazy you, you, buff to it. Because what, what's is crazy it, is it the faith one. I think it. Mu- I, I was so believing in a higher power because that's what I do. Because I was Maybe. I was adding up our our stats, <laughs> and Colby's was the highest. Uh-huh. He was ten above me, but somehow I was like twelve above your stat total. I was like, how is that even possible? <laughs> I don't know. Like somehow you scored lower in everything. Really? Yeah. What the fuck? Because I think I, there's a, I swear to God, there's like a, like, uh, now, it now might I, be a what's your age thing or something else. Now I'm, ge- I'm genuinely curious how that No, because there's plays a in. question that said, like, are you like 20 to 30? Uh, uh, unless, it, unless it's the idea that <clears throat> if you answer like less in the middle on most questions that it gives you increased stats. Maybe. I, I answered like most middle. You know what we should do though? I had this idea. That we should like do a D and D campaign because I've seen other podcasts do it, and I think we can. I think we could all role play as those characters we made. I would like doing that. Yeah, we just got to get more of the boys. So that'd probably be a thing <laughs> we do over Discord. Well, no, like I think we can do it in person and shit. Person? Yeah, well, yeah, we can just set up a camera up top. We probably had to set up two cameras, but we could do it all. Like it can just be me. I've seen like three guys do it. One D, one DM and two guys. It'll just be me and Colby, and then you can be DM. I'm DM. Well, I have because no you'd idea be how to. Or you could have Jarrett back. Doesn't he do it? Jarrett does. That's why I want to do it we over Discord. Because like then sh- we could get some yeah. boys. <laughs> yeah, we probably could. Okay. I think anyway, that's a future that's idea. That's a future episode. It'd be funny if you want to cut this part off for uh for surprise but we should like come in and have like a a drawing of our person that, like, that, that's how you usually do it oh do when, you oh. yeah when i uh was playing with joey and isaac and joshua <laughs> that when we spent a whole day just creating our characters and like one of the things is you like design how you want your character to look and mine was just all stupid looking <laughs> but yeah i see it's fun uh another uh final one for mariah uh, I th- the harvest poop story. Oh Somebody's a God. fucking fan. I, I think the they poster. just like the most stupid and ridiculous episode <laughs> to ever exist. Real, which still stands. I think the only one to rival that as a stupid episode would be the Wheel of Fate. Real, but I think Wheel of Fate was more chaotic than stupid. That was a, just a good idea to do. Yeah, I that that was one of those that just <clears throat> my brain was like, hmm, how can we suffer the most with the wheel? I was like. <laughs> Not with spicy, that's for sure. Yeah, I got really exhausted. I don't know how we can implement that again with the wheel. We'll figure it out. But this person's favorite episode is the Wheel of Fate. Good job. That is their favorite episode. Uh, another favorite episode, uh, the Soda and Pop tier list. That one's a good that one. Was that a one good that's one. a personal favorite. We one. were, me and Alex were like on 10 times speed by the end of that. <laughs> I walked afterwards. Yeah, I was. I went uh, Pokemon going with Colby and I did. I felt so fat afterwards. Oh my yeah. I was. I was literally at the park, just like speed walking everywhere. Yeah, I had to burn it off. I was. Like, I was like, I'm not getting diabetes. Like everyone was like really taking their time walking through the Japanese Peace Garden. And I was just like, <laughs> <laughs> just the flash. I was, I was like driving my car to the Peace Gardens like this. I was like, oh boy, time to catch Charmanders. <laughs> 
<laughs> oh yeah, it was Charmander Day. It was Charmander Day. Mm -hmm. uh, this one just says episode 68, which I think is the Wheel of Fate episode, if I'm not wrong. Guys, we're going to do more Wheel of Fates. EP68. Well, I Ep got you guys that uh, for reason. Uh, let's see. For Hold reason. on. I well, know. I, I want to fill up the wheel again. What the fuck? <laughs> it's on YouTube. I want to fill. I want to fill up the. <laughs> <laughs> Show me titties. Wow. But yeah, I want to fill up the wheel again. Oh, wow. I still have the ideas written down that we had before the wheel of fate happened. Mm -hmm. But I think we defeated the wheel, so he he has to recover. Ah. The wheel itself is a side character. <laughs> How did I just jump to episode eleven? What the heck? Is that ninety, and then now it's at eleven? That is interesting. Uh, I, I guess until you find that, which I'm pretty sure is real fate. Uh, dinosaurs. That is another favorite episode. Me that's and Alex one. fighting d dinosaurs. <laughs> that was a good one. I, I think that's probably our best fighting ridiculous things episode. You, out, of, out of the three we've done, I think that one probably is my favorite one. Mm -hmm. We work together as a team. <laughs> Us, uh, I don't think we're gonna be in the Velociraptors dog. <laughs> we can't. Yeah, it's Wheel of Fate 68. Uh, Alex looking me dead in my eyes as we're about to fight a Spinosaurus. Uh, you know what? You know what the <laughs> fucking versus versus episodes are? Just Hell Divers. It really is. It's just Hell Divers. We get we drop into whatever universe we have to fight. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> but yeah, uh, what's your guys' favorite episode? My favorite episode. That's been might be the ice cream tier list. Ooh, that is that is a fun episode. The, I even use this for the don't laugh because it just makes me laugh every time. Is um is the, the very first episode? one I was on. Oh, the the one where you broke the podcast. I guess yeah. I think that's what it was. I think you break everything on the podcast. Is, is are we recording? But oh my gosh, there's so much parts that just made me laugh. When, uh, but the one number one is when we get the Twinkie. <laughs> oh no, that's the pumpkin spice episode. Oh, yeah, that, that was, was a that super was. popular one for some fucking reason. Pumpkin spice. <laughs> it's so funny. It's, it's so, so funny. Oh the my gosh, that one insane. did have a lot of funny moments in it. <laughs> <laughs> that's the one where we were trying to come up with dating ideas for Alex. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I found a girlfriend. And we're like, worked. run, Alex, run, or something like that. Yeah, oh, exactly. Like you had to chase a Libra or something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Oh, my gosh. The Alex Tweaky. <laughs> I, I just, that one's always so <laughs> funny because, like, me and Colby immediately just, like, stopped <laughs> in our tracks, just so confused at Alex's statement. What did I say? Because I pulled out the, the little Debbie. <laughs> uh, the little chode of a <laughs> what of a I need, a, I need context what the fuck it's like a little twinkie like this or uh -huh. something very and Kale's like oh it's as big as my hand like it's as big as my d and we're just like <laughs> we just, we just looked, looked at each, each other because it's like it was impressive that it like <laughs> filled my palm but like that's not an impressive <laughs> size for your context my dick is not that small but I've always looked at those fucking uh, the Twinkies, and I always as a child, I'm like, why does it look like a wiener? A little phallic? Yeah, a little phallic. It's weird. That's, that's just stuff that with all the first, stuff with all that white stuff? The first, <laughs> the first thought that came to his head, he's just all happy. He's like, this is you're, my dude. You were so proud of that. <laughs> but me and Colby ju were just immediately baffled <laughs> that that would be something you would be, you'd proudly announce. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a fucking dumbass. <laughs> I'll admit it, but I don't. I don't. I don't take everything I say serious. And Colby did destroy the set on that one too. The cereal flew everywhere. That's right. Anytime there's food, I drop it on the floor. That's true. You did on the candy one as well. You not no. Not only did you throw it on the floor, you launched it on the floor by throwing Oogie Boogie. Oh yeah. No, I think I punched him with the gauntlet. I went gush yeah. and everything went. I was busy trying to fix something, <laughs> and you children destroyed everything. Is <laughs> <laughs> that a child? <laughs> that is a monkey. I can do I can do monkey impressions pretty good. That is a good episode, though. I was about to say that's a good monkey impression. That, I was about to say that was a good episode. <laughs> that, oh. that, that, the pumpkin spice pod is a classic. Real, like. 
anyone who's seen who has seen that episode you should right now one. watch all the totally oblivious episodes you should binge watch them right now right now even while you're sleeping have us playing in your ears i want to do a thing for our audience i want to do like a winner thing i want to send them like a shirt or something we don't have a p.o box so we can't do that we just have to send how do you get a, a fucking sweater and it's over <laughs> i want a sweater man we there get, you go we get, we get, we, <laughs> It's either that or there's gonna be like a, a random porn bot that's tried to win. <laughs> Pussy in uh, You guys have to tell us your address. We can't send it. Oh no. Right oh, no, now, here's your why address. Is, why, is this, screen. why is this a random warehouse? This is weird. I really do want to do that though, because me and Jillian have been making shirts. And it's so fun, and it's so cool to think, make a shirt. I think we'll have to. We'll, I think we'll do a friends of totally oblivious shirt thing, where everyone who's been a guest will get a shirt, if they so choose. Uh, Alex, what's your favorite episode? I've been waiting for this entire episode to do this bit. I call forth Shenron. Edit. Are you seven? You eat seven. I fed you oh, all shoot. seven. Right? I'll feed you fucking more, you fat bastard. <laughs> You've only four? Even more. Shenron's not Never mind. Yet. I take it back. Uh, Alex, favorite episode? Damn. <laughs> uh, I think I said it. It was, it was the ice cream. Oh, yeah. That's right. He did say ice cream. Uh, it's still baffled that you don't like mint ice cream. <laughs> it's a little baffling. The, I can understand it. But. The, fucking, the one reel you sent me on fucking Instagram. <laughs> me enjoying mint ice cream when somebody's not fucking yapping in my <laughs> when ear. You don't gotta be yapping in your ear that it tastes bad. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking hate mint ice cream. That's so all right, yummy. but it's not the best. I like all ice cream. I wouldn't to be pursue that, mint ice that's cream. Another thing, I guess, going back to it, those tier list episodes just show that there's very few things that I dislike. <laughs> that's, I think me and Caleb have a liking for most things I, I think the only one was like the soda tier list mm -hmm. but that was just because we're like we really don't like soda but whatever's in s tier are the ones that we would choose to drink if we had to uh, i understand and when me and caleb hate a thing we hate it like it's Absolutely. either it's either up there's a bunch of good stuff and then we just hate something What's, what, what ice cream do you guys hate again rocky road Rocky Road does kind of suck. It's just sweet. And that's about it. Mm. It's, it's just the textures. There's too much going on. Mm. You give, got give the me soft marshmallow. Weird. I had I had bunny tracks recently again. Mm -hmm. I'm like, I know like the the tracks are supposed to be shit, <laughs> but dude, this thing <laughs> fucking is baller, bro. <laughs> this is great, honestly, bro. Also had a uh, chocolate chip ice cream. I was like, this is good. Chocolate chip. That yeah, was it's actually not bad. Happy at eating it. Is it S tier like Alex said? Chocolate chip? I don't think so. I love chocolate chip. I know, but for some reason, chocolate was chip was so good. I, know, I, I think it's because it. those little chocolate bits throughout the ice cream just does make it good. Not as good as cookie dough. I do love cookie dough. That cookie but I think the, I said to be honest, dough better. To be honest, cookie dough also has chocolate chips in it. Yeah. yeah. But would it be the same without the dough? No. No. It's not. Um, My favorite episode... That's a good question. I'm not quite sure. But like I said, I've had a lot of favorite ones to edit. I want to say we've had one recently that I really liked. Oh, you know what? Favorite episode, end of the world. No, I know what my favorite episode is. The phobia episode. Oh, that one was my, good. I take it back. My favorite moment. Fern. fern the fern level fear fern, i can't but i still fern level. still am baffled do you are you fern level are you do no, you have, I have fern no level fears. fears i have a fear of the ocean that's really it no, that, that one's acceptable i understand that one yeah I, I i do very much enjoy i i like the atmosphere that we had for the end of the world episode mm -hmm. the the final episode of 2022 mm -hmm. very I, th I thought that one was very good you, okay somehow we talked about every world ending scenario except for the rapture i don't know how that was possible the rapture's made up right it doesn't exist not in the bible nope 
It's made up in some fucking like fan fiction. It got really popular in the, the 20- Bible <laughs> fan fiction. <laughs> hey, hey Dodgers Inferno is a Bible fan fiction. I guess, insane. yeah, that is true. It's insane. So fun fact. <laughs> fan fiction. <laughs> Rapture is like not what you think it is. Could you imagine though? Right. Something like that happening? Oh, I had I had a bit because I was I was reading about something about the rapture. What do you think the criteria is in getting to heaven? Because imagine <laughs> if one of your nosy ass white neighbors who's been Why is that to be white? because it makes it funnier. Bold did, did I send you that that meme of the guy who's always like doing bits and he was like doing one of the rapture and he's like looking up and he's like the Johnsons made it. Yes, yes, I love that bit because it's so like good. like imagine like you're in the rapture right and just just this this total asshole or family gets into heaven and you're like what the fuck wait a minute they're racist <laughs> this is some bullshit see if my dreams are to be taken into any account uh colby out of the three of us is the only one who gets raptured hey, that's, hey, that's me and you having have to 20 fight stats bruh <laughs> 20 stats across I'm gonna, the I'm board gonna, i'm gonna i'm gonna cast <laughs> rocket penis onto you <laughs> And that's why you don't get raptured. <laughs> Penis missile. Now it makes sense. Me, me and Alex will literally be uh, Jay and Seth Rogen. <laughs> and this is the end. <laughs> I love how they shake their legs when they're going. Oh. I'm going. <laughs> that just looks and sounds Grab wrong. on. <laughs> it's so. Have you, you haven't seen that one? I don't think I have. It's pretty funny. That's a funny one. Mm. It's so stupid though. Oh. I. I yeah, that's a good one. I don't know, I'm just that's what that would that would be me during the rapture. Oh, <laughs> you know how weird the rapture is. All your clothes just leave you as you're floating up, or and or instant transmission. I never really looked into it. All I, I, I just know. heard about. I just it. heard they disappeared. Yeah, you know it's kind of uh, an homage. I guess is that the right word to alien abductions? The way they're getting taken. That is funny. You know, <laughs> you that. Yeah, it's kind of that's kind of weird. weird. Hmm. I always thought of it more like a Thanos snap, <clears throat> and just dust away. That's that's what I when I first saw that movie and thought of that, I was like, oh, that reminds me of like the Rapture or something. It's all biblical. Dead. That's yeah, good moment. According to my subconscious, me and Alex are not worthy of. <laughs> I will. It's more fun when you don't get raptured, and then. Alex goes in the hospital basement and gets killed by demons. No, that's not fun. Damn. Because he didn't listen to me. <laughs> for, some re- for some reason in that dream, he listened to my dad over me. I would never listen to your dad over you. That's a, that, that was not Alex. <laughs> that was not. That was, <laughs> that not was a Alex. demon mimicking that me. Was, <laughs> who lied. That was stupid Alex. That, was that not- scenario ever happened where I was rapping and you guys stayed back? There'd be a moment. I would wait for a moment for you guys to be in trouble and like oh we're gone oh no and i just come in like sephiroth one i'd be like it's kobe i'm like (laughs) (laughs) you guys are like whoa he's so cool (laughs) (laughs) you know context i I saw hunger box's uh trailer reaction was going on again really yeah or, or like surfacing back on back on twitter and it's not about sephiroth it's not about uh hungry box in specific but looking back at that smash trailer sephiroth really shows up solos the boss the final boss of the game like in, a, in like an alternate timeline because it, it looks like it was starting at the beginning when like they're all gonna get fucked and he just solos him and then proceeds to fight the entire <laughs> roster <laughs> by goes, himself goes on to try to kill everyone himself <laughs> It's it, it, in context in the Smash Bros. power scaling scene. That is insane. <laughs> the craziest bro. feat ever done by a character. I think the only one close to that is Sonic just basically one shotting the boss and brawl. That's insane, dude. You got to play that game, man. I'm telling you. Brawl? No, Final, Final Fantasy, Fantasy VII. VII. So good. So I'm going gonna, gonna to go in order and start with Final Fantasy 1. <laughs> you can't one, two, no three, just, four, play, five, six, seven, play just play seven original seven. and if you like that you'll like the new one it will become his like persona alex i'm just cloud if you play that game you'll <laughs> you realize become. i'm just cloud Damn. everything cloud does is just me so where's your teeth with then or Aerith. <laughs>
What, what would you choose, Tifa or Eric? Tifa. <laughs> no second, I, I, no second guess. No man. questions. I'm currently playing the game now. I've cho chosen every rude option, dialogue <laughs> option for Aerith, and every good one for Tifa. And if I accidentally choose the wrong one for Tifa, you I'll, save re scope. I'll reset <laughs> you the game bastard. to choose the right one. You know, this is random as fuck, but there's some there's some girls online that will tell of the of the boys gaming secrets to mm -hmm. to their girlfriends and one of them was the persona one where it's like ask him who he romanced in this game and by the way you can romance multiple girls in persona 5 <laughs> and ask him if he safe scummed and all that shit i'm like jesus fucking christ do you want to ruin relationships See, I, this might be a minor spoiler for colby but when i was playing uh i just beat leviathan oh okay then you're not at this point yet so this is a minor spoiler <laughs> But I was playing uh, last night, and you get to a point where you get inside the inn, and you get to do a bunch of different dialogue options with everyone in your party. Mm -hmm. And I was talking to Aerith, and I just went, oh, of course, I'm just going to choose the most nonchalant option. And the the dialogue that proceeded after I chose that, I actually felt bad. <laughs> I was like, man, maybe I have been too mean to Aerith. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Do you like strategy games? I've been liking Persona so far. Okay, so you, I really think you would love Fire Emblem Awakening. You gotta try that one. Icky. No, I, I didn't. I didn't get into it as much. I want to get cool. into Dragon so Quest good. though. But the Curatorium was passing. I feel no. Not I take it back. Chrono really. Trigger. I need Ooh. to play Chrono Trigger. I've never played it. I will fucking. Gotta, it's a little odd. Got to get yeah, the, the game plays odd. That. I need to, brother. I want to play Chrono Trigger. Does Jr. not exist outside of <laughs> piracy. I want to, bro. I want to play. I want. I want to play the Froggy. <laughs> but Final Fantasy Seven. You have to play very that. Good. You have to. I I can't wait to go on a date with Tifa and the Golden Saucer. <laughs> Caleb's <laughs> first date. I witnessed it. Oh he got gosh. slapped. I did. By who? By Tifa? Tifa slapped yeah. me. <laughs> He's just being an idiot the whole time. Like he's Let being me touch the most, your booba. He's just, being the most like imagine Caleb in a date doing a play. That is exactly what he was doing, and he got slapped. He got slapped, <laughs> and then it fades away. And the very next scene is the two of you on the on a Ferris wheel, and it's just like dead silence. <laughs> and I just looked at Tifa. I was like, "So you're being a date?" <laughs> Jesus Christ, brother. Did you save scum backwards? No. <laughs> no, he thought. It See, was I'm hilarious. only doing it now. With it's the remake. Ca it's Caleb. He will go for the joke and the bit, and he'll think it's hilarious, <laughs> always, and he'll I'll stick to it. Always go for the bit. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. And since the, what's funny too is I'm doing this specifically so I can see how the interaction is <laughs> getting slapped on the remake. <laughs> I'm gonna do the stupid things exactly the same way again just to see what happens. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> it's a good game. It is it is very good. What is what is next? Um that's it. Oh, that was it. How long have we been running for? An hour thirty. Hour thirty. Wow. But yeah. I just got to another hundred. I'm still to another hundred. We really did it. Thanks everyone for making this possible. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We, we really would not be here without the fans. It's so true. thank you fans for watching every episode and uh, dealing with our stupidity at least once a week. We have to do a fan episode at some point where this, we, this was a award. fan episode. Oh yeah. <laughs> I, this is literally a fan <laughs> episode. I asked the fans what their favorite, That's there's true. multiple fan episodes. I just want to thank the fans more though. Well, we do not have the current ability to do so. We don't. We don't even have fans. Give us money so we give us can money give you so stuff. we can so we can appreciate you more. <laughs> Jesus Christ! No, but yeah, uh, I think once we actually get a room to make a studio in, and we'll start actually expanding, expound upon the podcast. Yes. Uh, yeah. Any, any final words for this episode? I think I want to go get tacos and watch Dragon Ball Z Kai. Ooh. I might I might binge all of Persona right now and then tomorrow finish my reading for Steel Ball Run. Good idea. So that's that was that was the plan. 
My final comment is uh, Tifa will be my highest relationship on Final Fantasy VII until uh, Kate Sith comes I, around. <laughs> Kate who, Sith. who the fuck is Kate Sith? The cat. The <laughs> the cat's my cat. favorite character. Little, or he's a little cat with a little Sora oh, crown on him. Remember when there was when people were having like a fucking... They, they were freaking out. Kate C. <gasps> but you're supposed to pronounce it like this. And then the game was yeah. like, no. The, the <laughs> official the official Twitter... No, it's, it's, it's Kate Sith. Or whatever the fuck it was. I, I think the idea behind that is his name is Kate Sith, but he is a cat she. Mm. A cat she? A cat she. <laughs> Interesting. But yeah, he's the number one homie, other than Red 13. My final comment is for the audience to get more involved and comment and share and just say their funny stories behind what we talk about, their favorite things. We like to hear stories. Yeah, do that. That gives us more content too. Become a community. Yeah. yeah. Become friends with each other. Not yeah. friends with us though. Parallel parasocial <laughs> relationships are terrible. Unless you're <laughs> actual friends with us in real life. Yeah. No, then you'll probably then. be on the podcast. Still then. No. Yeah, then we'll milk you for content. We'll milk you. We'll milk you. <laughs> Gross. Uh but yeah, I'm gonna get a lot more guests on in uh, probably not towards the end of this season, but next season, we're going to have a lot of guests. What's wanna, next season? The next season of Totally Oblivious, year three. Oh, wait, did we wait for the anniversary for that or no? Yeah. Okay. Wait for the anniversary. Was it in May? Somewhere in April. May? April. April 4th. We're coming Crazy. up on it. I think that after this, we only have three more episodes of <laughs> year... Two. Jesus. Year three pass. Year three. Year three DLC. The DLC will be, we'll get at least one guest a month. At least. Even if it's just Colby 12 <laughs> months in a row. <laughs> we'll do it. Anyway, thank you for sticking around, uh, watching 100 episodes of Totally Oblivious, like Alex said, to the next 100. Thanks 100 the next year and uh we'll try to make more entertaining stuff for you but just remember like comment subscribe share the podcast uh comment like colby said uh pet a dog if you can thank somebody important in your life but other than that that's it for this week shout Peace out to Toriyama. exactly my love them. <laughs>